हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वन एकेडमी आई एम सोमेश उपाध्याय यू पी एस सी रैंक थर्टी फोर आई एम आई एस ऑफिसर इन दी ओडिशा कार्डर आई ऑल्सो रन अ ब्लॉग आई ए एस थर्टी फोर डॉट कॉम टू गाइड यू पी एस सी एस्पायरेंट्स विद वेरियस ब्लॉग्स एंड स्ट्रैटेजीज दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेक्चर इज रिगार्डिंग स्मार्ट प्रिपरेशन ऑफ ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट You see, optional subject has become a very critical part in the rank. It determines the rank of the topper. It and it determines what service they get, what cadre they get, because in the GS and SA combined, most of the toppers these days have more or less similar marks. so the only thing that makes you stand out from the rest of rest of the toppers is the optional subject score and believe me i prepared for optional subject without any coaching or without any coaching notes all by myself and still i got really good marks i'll explain to you later on by following these smart strategies and this will save your time this will save your uh, uh, hard work and this will maximize the output for whatever input you put in for the preparation of optional subject even though i prepared a one particular geography optional subject this particular strategy applies to all the optional subject because they are all of similar nature so i'll just tell you briefly what was my optional subject story initially i chose geography geology optional and then after doing one month coaching i realized that i will not be able to complete the syllabus in time or perform well with this syllabus with, with this optional so immediately i changed to geography optional because it has a lot of material available online and since i did not have option of going another coaching so it was an easy subject for self preparation you can choose your optional based on uh, your own choice and you can also find the guidance to how to choose option on my blog is34.com now after choosing geography optional i realized that now coaching is not an option and even though i bought coaching notes i realized that i will not be able to follow because of somebody else handwriting and then there was no in notes there is no particular logic flow it is just haphazard notes so i decided i will follow core textbooks this textbook list is again available on my uh, website is34.com and apart from geography optional uh, list of books you will also find sociology optional list of books and mechanical engineering list of books by the respective toppers now what i followed was smart preparation method because i have very little time and i had to do all by myself so i chose a smart preparation method rather than hard work uh all uh, so so uh, so after this uh, all said and done i uh, got highest marks in paper 2 in all india so i got 116 geography optional paper 2 which was highest that year and even in paper 1 i got 128 marks which was good enough and mind you that i did not complete syllabus because of lack of time and that's why i had to leave 40 marks from that paper even if i had got 20 marks out of that i would have crossed 308 in optional which is very good score and you remember that people say geography optional uh, ko penalize kiya jata hai it is penalized because a lot of people opt for it there are a lot of rumors about it but i do not believe all those theories i believe that if you choose one optional in which you are good at and you do good hard work good original thinking and you write good answers you will get good marks simple so first of all what are the tools for smart preparation number 1 and foremost is the previous year topic wise question papers these question papers come in booklet format and uh, uh, i have given link in description where you can go on the blog and uh, there are links for different optional subjects even prelims and mains Uh, gs papers all books are available there you can just click and purchase uh, then then apart from this you should have recommended textbooks if you prefer you can have recommended notes 
for those particular subjects and then make google and youtube your friends whatever topic you do not understand or you do not find clarity or you think some understanding gap is there by reading the books you should always google about it and you should always find a video on youtube about it because those are much more easy to understand if uh, if you if you do that and unless you develop a core uh, concept understanding you will not be able to perform well in your geography or any optional for that matter and the last and final tool is the note making so i will tell you also how to how to you know briefly i'll tell you how to make very effective notes uh, uh which which become very handy when you are preparing for the final you know during the upsc mains exam because there are limited number of days just before the exam the final revision is uh, it it comes very handy so how to prepare prepare optional smartly number 1 you now that you have the book which has all the previous year papers you go into the book and select one topic because these are topic wise question papers so you will see different topics under that whatever previous year questions have been asked that will be listed there so for example in geography you can select geomorphology as one topic and under that whatever questions are there just pick any one question it will relate to one particular sub topic kisi ek sub topic se wo question aaya hoga now us sub topic ko you go and read from your source whether it is textbook or notes i would always say you should prefer textbooks so read from those books then uh, after reading that sub topic and clearly understanding what is there you make outline notes outline notes means that you do not copy scene to scene whatever there is in the book and make another book in your notes because that will be useless that notes you will never be able to revisit and revise so you just make outline notes which means that you make uh, point wise notes and just use keywords key data points and you must practice diagrams so when you are making note for that particular topic you should also make a relevant diagram whatever is there in your textbook or you can make your own flow charts for uh, using that later on in your examination what happens when you practice diagrams and you understand diagrams better and through diagrams you understand the concept better so diagram becomes very important not just for writing in the exam but also for your own understanding now when you do this after covering one sub topic tick off all the covered uh, sub topics in the that uh, question uh, that question bank the question bank book you tick off all the sub topics that you have covered and for one sub topic there will be multiple questions repeated questions every year so you will see after covering one sub topic you will actually have covered five to six questions in that uh, book so just tick mark them next you should complete all important topics from previous years and uh, you can go one by one in that uh, in in that uh, book one by one you should complete topics and after completing the topics what you should do you should keep one syllabus uh, print out with you and you should cross whatever topic you have covered so in the syllabus as and when you keep uh, covering the uh, topics and crossing out in the syllabus you will see slowly and surely you are moving towards completion of your uh, Mm, syllabus and that will give you self motivation from within because you can see yourself progressing earlier you did not have any coverage and now slowly you are covering 10% 20% 30% 40% of the syllabus so this will give you motivation to go ahead and complete that thing in a very limited time so that is very important please do not ignore this advice so after taking off uh, all the uh, major topics from the syllabus what will happen you will realize that syllabus is vast but the questions asked repeatedly come from very limited topics so some minor topics are left out of the syllabus if you go by the pre- whatever we have discussed so far if you go by that method agar aap ye method follow karenge to aapko dikhega ki syllabus ke kuch kuch topic jo hai minor topics usme question nahi puche gaye hain uske bare mein to wo reh jayenge aapke to once you have done this main part 
you have completed the recurrent the uh, most important topics from uh, based on the question bank now you have left you are left with the minor topics so what you should do now go and do the same thing with minor topics now because you don't have questions you only have to pick the topics from the book read that topic and make short notes very limited notes with diagrams and revise it so once you have done that your complete syllabus coverage has happened and now you should start answer writing practice and diagram practice diagram practice should happen all the time even if you have five minutes break from somewhere you open a copy and just try to make the diagram and see whether you can make it and you will realize that making the diagram is much more difficult than you thought so what you have to do you have to practice again and again and which will make you perfect one final advice for you here to get very high marks in paper 2 also is that always use paper 1 concepts to write paper 2 answers what happens most of the optionals paper 2 has gs type general studies type question so most of the candidates make the mistake of answering it in a gs type format so i have many friends who prepared with me who come after writing paper 2 optional and say that i have prepared very well i have written very well and then when the result comes they get only 70 to 80 marks why that happens because they answer from the gs perspective what you have to do this is geography very technical subject uh, this is about any optional for any optional this is a graduation level studies that you have to do and the answer has to be graduation level for that particular subject so how do you do it you um, you use the concepts the theoretical concepts of paper one to write the answer of paper two i'll give you one example from geography optional it will be applied for any optional you are studying you see and it will be applied if you look back at your previous year questions you see it will be applied for example if they ask you in geography paper 2 that why there is concentration of cotton textile industry in the western part of india so you see anybody who has read the first paper syllabus very well will quickly realize that this this relates to different industrial location theories whether it's uh, Weber location theory or Loesch uh, uh, industrial location theory so what you have to do you have to quickly write that according to this location theory this is what should have happened but th because of this, this this thing this has happened so this is the format of answer and you have actually included the paper 1 knowledge in paper 2 and now this is not a GS type answer this is proper optional type answer you will get really good marks so this is what i had to tell you please follow this smart preparation strategy i had completed my syllabus within three and a half months and got really good marks highest marks in paper two and very good marks in paper one i could not complete the syllabus because of the short of time but i'm sure if you start early you'll be able to complete it so all the best and if you have any questions you can keep in the comment please like the video please share with all other aspirants so that we can grow as a team and subscribe to this channel thank you